first word that comes to mind when talking about Marika is determined. Energy. The energy she exudes is infectious. Opportunity would be the word I'd use. She is a trailblazer. Very caring. She loves to be around people and people love to be around her. I would sum up Marika with saying she's tenacious because anything she wants, she will eventually get. Growing up in Tawasin, British Columbia, Marika Lissick couldn't sit still and always had to be on the move. She tried different sports, but it was baseball that she fell in love with. I think that growing up and playing it and how much joy it brought me when I was playing, I think that instilled in me this kind of passion for it. I think everybody knows when they succeed at something, it makes them feel good about themselves. Marika played on both softball and baseball teams, but by the end of elementary school, she focused on playing just baseball. Her and I'd go out and we would practice. She would throw two or three, first of all, stinging my hand like uh, unbelievably. That was the moment that I knew this, uh, this gal's really got some talent. Most people said along the way that, you know, oh, when she hits grade eight, she's going to have to leave because, you know, the boys get bigger and stronger. And every year I'd think, oh, this is it. We can't go any further. And every year she just goes further. Given a chance to play on Surrey, B.C.'s Wally team, Marika became the first female to play in the all-boys Premier Baseball League. I was sitting next to the owner of the Wally Chiefs, and I was just asking him his opinion for the next season, which team she should be on. And he just turned to me and he said, well, she should come out to the Wally Chiefs. And I think I pretty much just about fell off the stands because the Premier Baseball League, to me, was like the MLB. It was in Wally that she excelled behind the plate. Marika as a catcher was, uh, she was terrific as a matter of fact. She would find other opportunities to better herself. She did a lot of off-field stuff as well and she made herself to be the athlete that she is. In March 2019 at the MLB Grit Tournament in Texas, her dream of playing college baseball took a huge leap forward. It was awesome because we got to play on Globe Life, which I never would have thought I got to play on an MLB stadium in my life. I was pretty nervous at first, uh, thinking of all the MLB players that were playing before me here. This was one of my like biggest accomplishments ever. This is awesome. I remember getting pulled out from one of the games and somebody's like, we have a scout here and he really wants to talk to you. I had met him and he had this really nice New Balance uh, sweatshirt on and I was like, oh yeah, he's the man. When I talked to her for the first time, she didn't stop smiling. We just asked her if she wanted to play baseball. You know, we just want to find out the desire. Do you want to play college baseball? Do you want to take this step? I was like, okay, well, this is something that is actually attainable now because someone is telling me it's attainable and there's somebody that can help push me and get me to the next level. Jeremy Booth gave me a call. I've known Jeremy for, you know, it seems like forever. I got on the phone, I said, look, man, I got, I got a player for you. He's talking about this catcher and he's going on about her. And he kind of paused for a second. I'm like, continue. He's like, oh. He's like, I, he's like, I wasn't sure if you were gonna let me continue after I said she. Marika's special. I mean, let's just let's just get that out there now. She's special. She's a special person. Um, she's a special athlete. I'm like, listen, I trust your evaluation. You've been doing this for a lot longer than I have. So if you tell me this player's good, whether it's a he or a she, you know, I'm listening. After visiting the school, Marika committed to Riviere University in Nashua, New Hampshire, and would make NCAA baseball history, becoming the first female catcher on a men's team and the first Canadian woman to play U.S. college ball. I did feel a lot of pressure. I felt like if I went into this and it didn't go well for me, like I could be wrecking this for a lot of other girls that want to follow in my footsteps and maybe play a position or even play college in general. We're a family and that's what we preach from day one. So when I talked to my guys and I told them, hey, we're welcoming a sister to our family, Marika kind of had you know, 25 big brothers. As soon as I found out, I was ecstatic and, and really excited to meet her and, and start to you know, get to know her and, and see her on and off the field and add her to the family. Hey, Marika! When she got her first hit and did all her firsts, you know, the pressure was off. And then just to see the support, it was amazing. 
That first season was cut short due to the coronavirus. But for Marika, spring can't come soon enough so she can once again join her brothers on the field. I love my teammates. I mean, I could tell you they're my best friends, both on and off the field, and also my brothers. They're probably my biggest support system there. I absolutely love where I'm at right now. Without a guide to becoming a trailblazer, Marika is writing her own book of firsts and paving the way for all young women in sports. I actually love being a trailblazer. I think it's so much fun and getting to talk to these little girls and even have the opportunity to inspire them, it makes my heart full. She has amazing qualities and there's not many firsts anymore, you know, so it's, uh, it's very cool. I'm just so happy she can set the benchmark for all the young women across not only Canada, but the United States as well. She is doing things now similar to what other people have done with color barriers. She's breaking a gender barrier. She is in a position where other young women are going to be watching her as an example. She's a great role model. She carries herself really well. And when she sets her mind to something, she's going to accomplish it, and she sure did. My message to young girls would be just follow your dream, no matter what it is. Everybody thought mine was crazy. And so now accomplishing it, now it's the new normal. And I think if you put your heart and your mind to it, you can do anything you want.